Hello and welcome to this ONDR Modrio video, Nissan Leaf DRL Bulb, how to change them. This is video L005 in our series of Nissan Leaf videos. In this video we're going to show you how to change your milky looking normal filament DRL bulb to a brighter cool LED bulb, which is more fitting to the LED function it's trying to achieve. Now if you're um, interested in doing this you need to understand that your fog light uh, needs to have the DRL, DRL bulbs to start with. Some cars didn't have it. Uh, most, I believe, do. But there's a DRL bulb in the front of the fog light housing and the fog light is at the back behind a small reflector in the middle there. So you need to check out your bulbs first. The improvement is uh, fairly obvious. Obviously, there's going to be an increase in efficiency. The bulbs are a lower uh, wattage. The bulb life should be longer with an LED. And also the colour, this is the main function, the colour is going to get a lot brighter and uh, a definite cool white colour. The bulbs I used were uh, an Osram LED PG18.5D-1. These are actually a 1.6 watt bulb. As to the normal, normal filament bulb being 13 watts. And the bu both bulbs are basically the, uh, the size of P13W size, fairly standard. The tools I used, um, not really uh, anything special. I just used a trim tool to lever the, the wheel arch around, which I'll show you in a moment. No specialist tools basically needed for this at all. I split the video as per no our normal sort of format into three sections. What does the ma manual actually say about these LED, uh, or sorry, DRL lights? Um, the way we actually did it and um, Finally, some fitting problems we found and a top tip to help you avoid it. If you're interested in this video, please check out our channel, ONDR Modriol. There's lots of uh, Nissan Leaf content on there, as as, as well, the uh, Jaguar XK8. And uh, we're going to have some Mazda CX-5 stuff on there soon as well. So please check that out. And if you like the video, please don't forget to press the thumbs up. It really does make a difference. So what does the Nissan LEAF manual actually say about these DRL bulbs? Well, not a lot as it, as it turns out. Um, it does show you how to change most of the bulbs, and uh, the, but in the case of the daytime running light, it only tells you the bulb wattage and the size. It doesn't actually show you how to actually replace them, which is a little bit strange because it's probably the bulb that's going to get the most wear. It's on all the time in the daylight, and it's very surprising it doesn't show you how to change them. Part of the reason is it's quite difficult to get at, but I'll show you the easy way to do it. So here's the way we actually did it. Um, the access we chose is through the wheel arch. You can get at the back of the bulb, uh, so the lamp housing there. You can also get uh, access by removing the lower cover, but that can be quite problematic. We have actually changed the gearbox transfer oil. You'll see that video on our channel. And when you remove the... Um, the lower engine cover it generally doesn't get removed very often because there's no <laughs> very little servicing on these cars and lots of the clips nuts and what have you do break so i wouldn't advise taking that lower cover off unless you're gonna uh, bear in mind you're gonna make have to make some repairs what we did we used the um, plastic trim tool just to get behind the wheel arch liner and pull it away from the uh, the bumper and the wing you can pull it away to gain access um, just get your arm in there to the back of the bulb housing. The bulb housing looks like this. You won't actually be able to see it because you can't get your head in there to take a look. But this is what it actually looks like. So you'll be feeling this with your hand. The actual DRL bulb is located at the bottom of the lamp housing. The main fog light bump uh, bulb is actually at the rear of it. But you need to get at the wire at the bottom and that lamp holder. To actually remove them, you need to turn um, the lamp holders anti-clockwise to remove them and clockwise to fit them. So get that right in your head and basically just turn the bulb holder in that direction and it should be able to be pulled out very easily. You, once you've unscrewed the bulb and the bulb holder, pull the bulb out together with its wire far enough that you can get access with your other hand and you should be able to push the tab at the back of the bulb holder down and disconnect it from its socket just by pulling it out. Very, very easily done. When you've got that out, 
you just need to push in your new bulb and refit the bulb holder, I say clockwise, and refit the wheel arch liner with your trim tool, just pushing it into place. Very, very easy and simple. It takes minutes. What it didn't, it, what it did, why it didn't take minutes for me, because the bulbs didn't fit properly. I couldn't get the bulbs to fit. So I'll give you a top tip to avoid lying on the ground trying to scratch your head finding out what was wrong as I did. And um, so here, are, the problem I had is the O-rings that seal these bulbs into the housing were different. On the LED, I had a black O-ring. Okay, that's not fundamentally on the uh, fundamental, but on the older filament bulb, it was brown. The differences other than the color was the LED O-ring, the OD measured 19.6 millimeters, where the older brown O-ring only was 18.8. .8. I mean, that is 0.8 of a millimeter difference. That's why the thing wouldn't, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get into the housing and be assembled. So the top tip is reuse your old O-rings and you'll avoid that problem, particularly with these Osmaradin bulbs with these uh, larger O-rings. So when I did that, the bulbs fitted perfectly. It was just like uh, the old bulbs, so without any issues. So the top tip, reuse your O-ring. So in summary, the improvement, the efficiency was about 87% uh, efficiency. It's not going to give you miles more range, but it is more efficient uh, than the filament bulbs. The bulb life is going to be quite a lot longer. The Osram are quite confident about this. They give you a four-year guarantee on these bulbs. And obviously the main reason for changing these is that you do get a brighter, cool white uh, bulb that most other DRLs are running with. It looks like a standard DRL. It's much brighter. You can see it. It's not doesn't just look like a normal bulb. So there you go. If you're interested in this video, as I say, take a look at our channel. We're going to cover some more things about the Nissan Leaf. We're going to service the parking brake, brake have a look at car wings, Leaf Spy. We fitted a spare wheel, we'll show you that. Some air, small minor air mods, and some more LED light bulb conversions as well. So please take a look at the channel and subscribe to keep um, abreast of those new videos. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Nissan Leaf, uh, Jaguar XK8, or Master CX5 videos. Thank you and bye bye.